Hi, in the last session, we had discussed about the need of loading SOS DLL to WinDBG for debugging a .NET application. There are two ways to load this DLL. One is by using load command, and the other the load by command. The load by command can be discussed in a separate session. So, in this session, we shall discuss how to use the first command to load the SOS DLL to WinDBG. Command requires the path of the SOS DLL in the system. The user need to be a little careful here, there would be multiple versions of SOS file in the computer. So which is the appropriate one to load? In order to see this in real, let's search how many SOS files are existing in this system. The search results provides two. First one is belonging to the .NET Framework 4.0, and the other SOS file is part of .NET Framework 2.0 version. So, the question is, which SOS file path the user need to choose? Let's go back to the document to discuss that. We know, there are many stable .NET Framework versions. Though 1.1 is also a stable version, we omit now because not many apps running with that. So, to keep things simple, to debug an app built with .NET 4.0 or higher version, use the SOS file in the .NET 4.0 framework. And, if the app is built with .NET 3.5 or lesser, use the SOS file path in the 2.0. But, in some specific cases, user might have to do few extra things. Let's consider the user receive a dump from a customer, who built the app with a minor CLR version change. For example, here 2 is the major version and point five zero seven is minor version. For the context of our discussion, if user receive the app dump compiled with a different minor version, then loading this SOS version would cause problems to that dump. So during those times, the user can ask the customer to get the SOS and few other files from the machine, on which he has built the application. This scenario can be discussed as a separate topic with a video session. Currently, let's keep in generic terms, providing a demo to load the SOS DLL to WinDBG. Let's consider we have a .NET application built with .NET 4.0 framework and wanted it to debug with WinDBG. So, copy the SOS file path of the .NET 4.0 framework. Open WinDBG and attach the .NET application. As we have discussed earlier, to make WinDBG capable for managed debugging, we should load the SOS DLL. Pasting the DLL path we have copied. As discussed, application is compiled with version 4.0, and the SOS file also having the same version. Apply Enter to load the SOS DLL. Now, the WinDBG is ready for managed debugging. Let's verify this by executing a command, dump domain which is part of the SOS DLL. Result is printed. Listing all application domains in the application. So, Similar way, user can execute all the commands listed in SOS DLL. Thanks for watching.